betrayal, ambition, and the lust for power, these are the forces that drove two dragon seeds, Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White, to turn against their queen, Rhaenyra Targaryen. In the Dance of the Dragons, a civil war that tore Westeros apart, these two men rose from obscurity, wielding the might of dragons. Yet, their hunger for more led to treachery, violence, and ultimately, their tragic downfalls. Welcome to the plot twist. Today, we dive deep into the tragic tale of betrayal by the dragon seeds, Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White, and their impact on Rhaenyra's claim to the Iron Throne. In the Dance of the Dragons, the civil war that tore Westeros apart, Rhaenyra Targaryen sought to bolster her forces by calling upon those with Valyrian blood to claim dragons. This event, known as the Sowing of the Seeds, brought many dragon seeds to Dragonstone, including Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White. These dragon seeds were bastards, men with Valyrian blood but not the noble lineage, eager for a chance to rise above their stations. Hugh Hammer successfully bonded with Vermithor, the second largest living dragon, while Ulf the White claimed Silverwing. These two dragons significantly bolstered Rhaenyra's forces, giving the blacks an edge over the greens. The presence of these powerful dragons under Rhaenyra's command demonstrated the potential for commoners, albeit with Valyrian blood, to alter the balance of power in West Eros. Despite their crucial contributions, Hugh and Ulf were dissatisfied with their rewards. Rhaenyra promised knighthood and land, but this was not enough for the ambitious dragon seeds. Hugh demanded Casterly Rock, a demand Rhaenyra rightfully rejected, as he lacked the upbringing and skills to govern such a vast territory. Ulf was offered a marriage to Lord Stokewerther's daughter, placing him in a powerful position in the Crown Lands, but Rhaenyra declined Daemon's suggestion to grant him Storm's End. After the fall of King's Landing, Daemon Targaryen suggested that Ulf be wed to the daughter of the late Lord Stokeworth, but Rhaenyra declined. Instead, she granted knighthood to Ulf and Hugh and awarded them lands on Driftmark. According to Mushroom, a drunken Ulf rode through Flea Bottom wearing only golden spurs. When Daemon suggested that houses Baratheon and Lannister should be destroyed for their support of King Aegon II Targaryen, he proposed granting Storm's End to Ulf. However, Lord Corlys Valerian opposed the idea, and Rhaenyra refused. In 130 AC, Ulf White and Hugh Hammer were sent to help the Blacks defend the town of Tumbleton from Lord Ormond Hightower's approaching host. During the First Battle of Tumbleton, however, the two betrayers defected to the Greens. Prince Daeron Targaryen named Ulf as Lord of Bitterbridge, but Ulf desired to receive Highgarden as his seat, not considering Bitterbridge to be sufficient. Hugh, on the other hand, aspired to be king of West Eros, but Prince Daeron threw a cup of wine in his face after he made his claim. Despite the rejection, Hugh began to wear a crown the next day. However, Sir Roger Corn knocked it off, and Hugh had three horseshoes nailed to his skull in retaliation. During the First Battle of Tumbleton, Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White betrayed Rhaenyra, turning their dragons against the very people they were supposed to protect. Tumbleton was set ablaze, earning them the moniker of the two betrayers. This betrayal was not just a military setback but a psychological blow to Rhaenyra's cause, highlighting the fragile nature of loyalty among those who were not born into the higher echelons of power. In response to their betrayal, the Caltrops, a group of conspirators, plotted to kill both Ulf and Hugh Hammer. Lord Unwin Peak had warrants for their executions drawn up, signed by Prince Daeron. The day they planned to strike, however, the Second Battle of Tumbleton took place. During the Second Battle of Tumbleton, Hugh was cut from head to torso by John Roxton, who was killed shortly after. Ulf survived the battle, drunkenly sleeping through every attempt to wake him. When he learned that Hugh had died during the battle, Ulf informed Lord Peak that he was going to claim the Iron Throne. The next day, Sir Hobart Hightower brought Ulf two casks of wine, one Dornish red and one Arbor Gold. Ulf preferred the sweeter vintage, but the Arbor Gold was poisoned. Suspicious of Hobart's behavior, Ulf commanded the Dornish red to be set aside and only dared drink from the poisoned Arbor Gold after he had seen Hobart drink from it himself. After Hobart asked for a second cup, Ulf drank three cups himself and soon fell asleep due to the poison. Their deaths serve as a stark reminder of how overambition and disloyalty can lead to a swift and brutal end. Rhaenyra's refusal to grant them significant territories was wise, yet the greed of Hugh and Ulf led to devastating consequences for her cause. Accepting the knighthood and territories on Driftmark she offered would have left them in a good position. Not royals, but still much better than peasants, and with a dragon, 
they could have escalated positions even more over time. The war, after all, wasn't over, and being tied to a dragon rider with Targaryen blood is a valuable asset for any family. Greed blinds men way too quickly. Hugh seemed to want a better life for himself and his wife, but expecting Casterly Rock, being born a bastard and not knowing a thing about lordship, was too foolish. Such a castle and territory don't run themselves on autopilot, they need a competent lord who was raised and educated to do so. Also, joining the ones who allowed his daughter to die from illness and starvation, because in his mind somehow the Greens would have legitimized him and given him the crown, shows a severe lack of foresight and understanding of the political landscape. The tale of Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White serves as a poignant reminder that greed and ambition can cloud judgment and lead to one's downfall. Their betrayal not only weakened Rhaenyra's position but also highlighted the dangers of overambition and the fragility of loyalty during wartime. As we await the adaptation of this story in House of the Dragon, we wonder if the show will delve deeper into the motives and complexities of these two infamous betrayers. In Fire and Blood, Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White's betrayals are depicted as driven by greed and a thirst for power. However, their actions were also influenced by the volatile nature of the times and the ever-shifting loyalties in a realm torn apart by civil war. Their story underscores the precarious position of dragon seeds, caught between their desire for recognition and the harsh realities of a society that viewed them as lesser beings. As we reflect on this tale, it's essential to consider the broader implications of their betrayal. The distrust sown by their actions made it harder for Rhaenyra to rely on other dragon seeds and highlighted the challenges of uniting a diverse group of supporters with varying backgrounds and motivations. This ultimately contributed to the downfall of the blacks, showing how individual ambitions can undermine even the most just causes. Their betrayal and subsequent executions were not just individual acts of treachery but events that had far-reaching consequences for the Targaryen civil war. When Prince Daeron Targaryen ordered their execution, it was not merely a punishment for their treachery but a necessary act to restore some semblance of trust and discipline among his followers. However, their deaths also served as a grim reminder to all dragon seeds and supporters that the price of betrayal was death. In conclusion, the story of Hugh Hammer and Ulf the White is a tragic tale of ambition, betrayal, and the harsh realities of war. Their actions, driven by greed and a desire for power, ultimately led to their downfall and had significant repercussions for the Targaryen cause. As we continue to explore the rich history of Westeros, their story stands out as a powerful lesson on the dangers of overreaching ambition and the importance of loyalty and honor in the Game of Thrones. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more thrilling content on the Dance of the Dragons and beyond. Your support helps us bring more detailed and captivating videos right to your feed. For exclusive perks and behind-the-scenes content, consider joining our Patreon or channel membership. Every bit of support goes a long way in fueling our passion for bringing you the best in fantasy history. Thank you for watching.